Now, you might see this written a little bit differently. Another way I saw this in the textbook is, do you guys remember what's the charge on sulfate? Sulfate is just a negative 2 charge, right? And the sulfate here is just a counter ion. So they might just write the mercury as Hg2 plus without the counter ion. You might see this written as just Hg2 plus and just leave out the counter ion since that's not participating in the reaction. And this really shows that this is just a mercury catalyzed reaction. In the back of the textbook, in the back of the chapter, they don't even show the acid. But I do think it would be better to show the acid. It seems like the acid is playing an important role in the reaction. Maybe the best way to write this is H3O plus and the mercury. This shows we have an acid and water and the mercury catalyst. So I would consider these, these, these reagents to be the same as these. This is really the same as this, isn't it? Here's the mercury. We're just not showing the sulfate. And remember, H3O plus just means acid plus water. H3O plus is just acid plus water, so H3O plus is really equivalent to sulfuric acid and water. You could write this either of these two ways. So we could just write this as H3O plus. And then instead of having the sulfate do the protonation, you would have the H3O plus do the protonation. It just makes sense to use the H2SO4 because... I, I, mean, I think it's maybe, maybe more intuitive to use the H2SO4, that's right. However, a lot of the time you might see it done with the H3O plus, so you have to be comfortable with both of those. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm, or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.